The legendary Carol Burnett is here. For 11 years, she kept us all laughing on The Carol Burnett Show with classic sketches like, who could forget it, this one. And she writes all about her time on the show and her new book, In Such Good Company, 11 Years of Laughter, Mayhem, and Fun in the Sandbox. Carol, good morning. Thank you. What an honor to Thanks, have you Sarah. here. I love seeing that skit went with the wind yeah. <laughs> and we were just talking that the curtain rod dress is in the Smithsonian. In the Smithsonian. That was Bob Mackey's genius. He was our costume designer and actually I don't think too many people know this. He designed everything we wore which meant 60 to 70 costumes a week. A week! It's incredible. When you add that up with uh, average 65 a week, okay. 11 years, 276 shows. That's over 17,000 costumes he designed. It's incredible. And I'm glad you did the, the calculation there because I, <laughs> I was told there would be no math. No. <laughs> Speaking of another number, you watched 200, the bulk of 276 shows. Well, actually, I didn't watch them all the way through. Oh. I, I fast forwarded through a lot of the sketches that I remembered. And then the musical numbers I fast forwarded through. But I wanted to jog my memory. Yeah to see if there were some that I'd forgotten or that, and, and there were a few that I'd, uh, quite a few that I had forgotten and some I would say, oh, that's really funny. And then another one I'd say, that's not so funny. <laughs> you know? But it was, uh, it was enjoyable, uh, you know, to go back and, and see how we changed, how we grew. I mean, it's it's such an incredible run. I mean, you, I think they had 30 million viewers. It's just incredible yeah. to think about that. Why did you want to write the book and kind of walk down memory lane? <laughs> well, the, the past few years, I've been getting requests from other writers who said, you know, we would love to write about your show and would can we interview you and talk about it? And I think, well, I'm a writer. I should write it because I'm the one who was really there, yeah. you know. So I decided I would I would do it. There's so, so much yeah. love in this book. It's not one of those dishy tell-alls where no. you know you're <laughs> dishing the dirt. Although there is a fun story about the time you had to fire Harvey Corman. <laughs> what happened? Well, he was uh, Harvey was wonderful. There was no <laughs> question about it. <clears throat> but sometimes he'd be in a mood, but we could always kid him out of it. <clears throat> there would be no problem. He could change on a dime like that. But then this one day, uh, we were uh, rehearsing, and he was not a happy camper, and he was a little snappy with some, our guests, mm. which I thought, uh-uh, you can get that way with me because I know you, and it's okay, but not with the guests. So uh, that night after the show, I went into his dressing room, and, he, and I said, what were you doing? He said, well, I'm just, I'm just not happy here. And I said, okay, don't come back. Ooh. <laughs> but Boom. he said, what? I said, well, if, if you're unhappy, you know, but uh, you can't talk to our guests that way and you can't bring this, your unhappiness to work. And uh, anyway, finally he backtracked and he said, oh, well, okay. I said, do you want to reprieve? Or and he said, we, well, yes. I said, okay. Uh, this was Friday. And I said, Monday, when we start uh, next week's show, uh, when I see you Monday morning, I want you to whistle and skip down the hallway <laughs> at CBS. <laughs> and so that Monday, I'm walking towards the elevator uh, where, by a rehearsal hall, and Harvey, it opened and Harvey came out and we kind of looked at each other like that and he went, <laughs> and he started whistling and skipping down the hall. I howled, I, and then finally I had a plaque made that I put on his dressing room door and said, Mr. Happy-Go-Lucky. You know? <laughs> One of the things you did that everyone loved was the audience Q&A. We had a couple mm -hmm. of folks on our plaza who had a question for oh, you. Sure. What? So we've got Renee from Farmerville, Louisiana. Renee, go right ahead. Hi, Renee. Good morning, Ms. Burnett. Uh, I'm Renee from Farmerville, Louisiana. This she just said, uh, uh, my question is, I know you've won several awards, and uh, I'd like to know the one that you cherish the most. Oh, wow. Um, I think it's the very first one I ever got, which was when I was uh, a freshman at UCLA, and it was my freshman year, and I was majoring in theater arts, English, and uh, I got the most promising newcomer oh. award. Yeah, and that's it. That's at home on, on my desk. And, and there's been so many awards after <laughs> that. Okay, let's go to Jack. We got another question outside. Jack, what's your question? Hi, I'm Jack from Lexington, Kentucky. If you were casting a 2016 Carol Burnett show, who would you use as your talent? Oh, good question. <laughs> Meryl Streep, <laughs> because she is very funny and very musical. Kevin Spacey, oh. because he is very funny and very musical. Yeah, I, uh, 
because I'm a movie nut. Yes. You know, so those are two who come to mind right away. Oh, I love it. I'll sign up. I'll watch. But you got to do. You got to be there too. Carol Burnett, thank you so much. Thanks, what Savannah. a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. And again, the book is called In Such Good Company. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.